What is up you guys? It's Susie from HeyGrillHey.com and today I'm showing you a beautiful Sunday roast or a holiday beef roast out of an eye of round, which comes in way cheaper than prime rib. If you find that this year it might be a little out of your budget. <laughs> It will taste absolutely delicious, and we're serving this smoked eye of round with a homemade whiskey cream pepper sauce that is absolutely bomb. Let's do it! All right, my friends, here's the situation. Prime rib during this holiday season is projected to reach record high prices. It's very in demand. People are getting back together and having family dinners. And with some of the shortages and issues and staffing delays, prices are going up and up, just like with many other things. However, we don't need to sacrifice flavor and we don't need to sacrifice the memories of having our family gathered around the table because the prices are so high. I wanna show you guys a beautiful piece of beef that works deliciously for that family dinner roast. This is an eye of round roast. A lot of times you guys have seen me use this roast in the past for homemade jerky. It also makes beautiful deli style roast beef. It's not super fatty, but it is perfect cooked to a nice medium rare pink on the inside with some great smoke flavor on the outside. And when you slice it thin across the grain, it melts in your mouth, it falls apart, and you get all of that beefy flavor at a massive fraction of the cost, like maybe 20% of the cost of prime rib this time of year. So it is a huge, huge savings. And honestly, I don't think anybody would be sad if you serve them this at a holiday meal. It's phenomenal. Okay, should we make it now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Most eye of round roasts come in two to three pound sections, just like this one. Some of them have a full fat cap on, some of them don't, but underneath that fat cap is some silver skin. This one had most of the fat cap removed, but some of the silver skin remains. You just wanna take a nice little fillet knife, get as close to the meat as you can and remove the silver skin and remove the fat. It'll get us a better even smoke, crusty coating on the outside. And this fat isn't super edible anyway. All right, that looks beautiful. Once your roast is trimmed up the way that you like, you're simply gonna season on all sides. I'm using my beef rub. It is a fantastic all-purpose salt and pepper based seasoning. You can truly just season simply with equal parts salt and pepper. Maybe add in a little garlic powder if you're doing it from home and you don't have the seasoning. But if you wanna pick this up, you can grab it online in my store at heygrillhay.com. This is very delicious. <laughs> Now I know it looks like I'm using quite a bit of seasoning, and I am. As these roasts cook, it's going to kind of shrink up a little bit and actually tighten into more of a round shape. And because we're going to be slicing it so thin, we want as much seasoning on the exterior as we possibly can get. Now this is going to go onto a smoker 225 degrees, and we want this to be pretty chilly. The colder it is, the more smoke flavor it's going to attract, the more flavor is going to be imparted and taken deeper into the meat itself. This is probably gonna smoke for between three and four hours. Our last one about three and a half hours. And we're looking to get this to a temperature of 115 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not all the way done, but we are gonna sear it after the smoking process. So get this in your smoke bath, close the lid, let it go for a few hours. Now, my favorite type of wood to use for this recipe is oak. I think it imparts a really classic Texas barbecue-y flavor, but honestly, most woods would work really well here. You can stick with lighter, fruitier woods like apples, cherries, maples, if you want a nice light smoke flavor. Alder is also a great like medium level of smoke and intensity. Okay, our eye of round roast has been smoking for the last three hours. Our temperature 
should be, <laughs> ideally, between 115 and 120. And then we're gonna pull it off and give it a nice sear in our cast iron skillet. I've got a 12 inch cast iron skillet preheating right now so we can get a nice crusty sear on the outside and then make our whiskey cream sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit of avocado oil to my pan. It's a great high heat searing oil. Then we just put our roast right in our preheated skillet. Sizzle, sizzle. All right, we're just gonna let this sizzle in the skillet and build up a nice crust. It'll take about two to four minutes per side. You even wanna do the end so you get that nice crispy brown all the way around. We're looking for a target temperature of about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, oh, there, one thing, uh, one, one. <laughs> I'm calling it. Okay, roast is at 130. It's coming off to my cutting board to rest. I'm gonna turn the heat down to medium low in my skillet, and we're gonna make our sauce. Are you ready? Yeah, we have the camera okay. set up and ready to go. Let's go make a sauce, come on. First, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter to our warm pan. And you can see it's picking up all of like the yummy brown seared bits from our steak, our roast, our roast. Beautiful. To the butter, I added one finely minced shallot. I'm just gonna let this saute in that browning butter for a minute or two. And then I'm gonna add in two cloves of minced garlic. In goes the garlic. It smells so good. <laughs> All right, once our garlic is starting to soften and just lightly brown, it'll probably only take about a minute, we're gonna deglaze the pan with a quarter cup of whiskey. And if you're not a whiskey drinker, you can just use a quarter cup of beef stock. I'm gonna slowly stir in half a cup of heavy whipping cream. All right, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. And I also need about one to two teaspoons of fresh thyme leaves. It's actually really easy if you just put the whole stems in. You just have to remember to pull the stems out because the leaves will actually come off the stems while they cook. Last thing we need is just a little bit of salt and pepper to taste, and our sauce is done. Our beautiful whiskey shallot cream sauce is done. So I'm just gonna pull out those thyme stems, and then it's time to slice our roast. It's been resting while we made our sauce, so it should be nice and juicy and if our thermometer is correct, which it always is, we'll have a beautiful medium rare inside. We should have a really good smoke ring outside. And then all of that yummy, delicious, caramelized, crispy, seasoned crust. And we are gonna be slicing this against the grain. So you can see on this particular roast, the lines of the grain are running this way. So that means we wanna slice thin against the grain so we have really short muscle fibers that are easier to chew. It makes it incredibly tender. This roast really is best sliced thin. So get yourself a sharp knife and have at it. <laughs> Look at this beautiful roast. <laughs> you can see the smoke ring all around the outside. You can see how juicy this is. It's a perfect medium rare. The Eye of Round really provides such a great classic roast beef flavor. I think it really delivers on that punch, that wow factor that you want for a special occasion or a holiday meal. And then you add on this whiskey cream shallot sauce situation and it becomes something even more special. Just imagine that all arranged on a serving platter with extra 
extra time. Maybe some like roasted potatoes on the side. Maybe some grilled asparagus. I don't know, I'm just saying. <laughs> but it would be an absolutely beautiful meal. And now I get to do my favorite part of everything that I ever get to do, and that is the taste test. Mm. Oh my gosh. For how affordable the Eye of Round Roast is, it should not taste this good or be this tender. <laughs> but it is. I think that low and slow smoke really helps to preserve as much moisture in the meat as possible, as well as imparting flavor from the smoke and tenderness from that slow cooking process. Mm. Add that whiskey creamy sauce on top. That's magic meat, that's meat magic. Trademark, I'm trademarking meat magic. I could continue <laughs> describing how delicious this roast is. Unfortunately, you can't taste it through the camera. This is one that you're going to have to try at home with your own family, whether it's a special family dinner or a holiday celebration. I think this would be a fantastic swap for a more expensive cut of roast, but it still delivers on that feeling of family and gathering and special, and it's a roast that will set your meal apart Absolutely. I hope you guys give this one a try and I hope you love it. And when you cook it, I hope you take a picture because it looks gorgeous. Post it on social media. Use the hashtag HeyGrillHate. That way I can cheer you on on your journey to becoming a backyard barbecue hero. Because really, what it's all about is making better barbecue so you can feed the people you love. We'll see you guys next time.